This is the Owl of Wisdom. Like and subscribe for 10 years of good luck. If you don't, it won't be pretty. What is the most damage you can cause with $10? A sock filled with $10 in quarters could mess a few people up. Buy a plastic deck chair and leave it in a massive intersection. I heard this caused a six lane each way highway to jam for hours once. Fill someone's exhaust with expander foam. Buy a bag of fries. Take it to an outdoor subway slash underground slash whatever station. Slowly feed bits of the fries to pigeons. Amass several hundred pigeons in front of you, waiting for fries. When the next train comes, just before the doors close, hurl the entire bag of fries into the car, so the pigeons follow it into the car, but the people don't have time to get out. Ideally do this just before a long section without any stops, followed by several underground station. Repeat 15 times, fries are cheap. Bottle of brake fluid and an expensive car dealership. Drizzle on hoods. Wreck finish forever. Spend 5 on super glue, use glue to secure the other 5 to the floor of a Walmart entrance. Find twin 3 year old boys at Walmart, show them the money, and tell them whoever makes more people scream inside the store can have it. Two words, liquid ass. Damage to others or to yourself. Cause you can buy cat's movie ticket. Pouring caramel on someone's windshield. Buy some gallium, edit it. It literally eats aluminium. Just a small amount will kickstart a chemical chain reaction that will eat through alley like popcorn at the movies. It's quite slow, 10 milliliters will eat through 1 centimeter sheet aluminium in about 6 hours. It soaks into the aluminium and spreads incredibly far. Google it. One large drop on your dickhead stepdad's engine on his nice sports car will literally make the engine casing fall apart faster than your emotions. Good luck, wear goggles. Edit, yup, you all are totally right. Gallium is best, not no. $10 can buy a bottle of gut wrench vodka. It's like an adult choose your adventure book, with every choice leading to incarceration. Light it on fire, and use your burning $10 bill, to start a bigger fire. $10 worth of crickets from a pet store. Released somewhere awesome. Buy a thing of ladybugs, and release them into someone's house. Use the leftover cash, to buy mint seeds and plant them in the same enemy's front lawn. They'll never get it all out. 1000 pennies. Empire State Building. Make it hail. $10 jumbo bag of Jolly Ranchers. Lick each one and stick them everywhere on somebody's car. When they go to pull them off they also pull off the paint. Bonus points if it is hot day and the candies melt. HTTPS slash slash shippieranemisglitter.com slash item slash the glitter bomb 54. $9.50 worth of glitter and a stamp addressed to a clean lab environment. Buying $10 of stink bombs and throw them around a clothing store. Including the stocked clothes. Put $10 worth of change in the fuel system of a rocket engine. I don't know about damage, but I gave a friend $10 to 3D print an army of miniature, vini, erectic and balls. I've been hiding them in the mechanics stuff at work for months. Photocopy it and attempt to buy something with the fake money. Buy her at the hardware store, and go to a golf course at night. Rip apart all 18 greens for $75,000 a piece. I grew up in Pinehurst. Hire two pies to investigate each other on Fiverr. You can buy condoms for your buddy, then poke holes in them, and be responsible for another human's birth. 1000 pennies dumped into the inner mechanisms of a hydroelectric generator. $10 worth of tap water. That's got to be a good few gallons, right? Half goes into the hospital's power supply, the other half into the backup power supply. You asked. Fentanyl. 
Take a shit and flatten it carefully between a folded $10 bill. Freeze until solid. Slide it into the cracked window of her crush's car on a hot day so it defrosts and gets all over their upholstery. They will marry you within one year. This works every time. Buy a dead rat, frozen from lab supply. Buy a single large bowl jar. Buy a small bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Use the leftover $4 for alcohol, cause this is gonna get weird. Drop the rat in the jar, it has to fit, although you could trim it if feeling plucky. Add about 2 minus 4 inches of peroxide, and then an equal amount of water. The jar should have at least half of its height in headspace, no liquid. Twist the lid on as tight as you can. You now have the most potent stink bomb you can imagine. As the peroxide breaks down the rat flesh it will hyperputrefy with the oxygen, to a point where the death stink will be increased to vomitous levels at 25 feet from detonation. Depending on ambient temp, the bottle will swell and explode between a few days and a week. Put it in someone's closet, under their bed, or couch, and they will likely have to sell their house, cause that stank ain't ever coming out. Clarification, this is not a bomb for throwing, this is a bomb for hiding and leaving for days and destroying property, making it unlivable via stank. Do I win? 5 gallon bucket, free if you look around. Pile of newspaper, also free. Matches, still also free. Gasoline, $10. Best bang for the buck, priceless. Exchange the $10 for 1000 pennies. Pay a $10 lunch in a super busy fast food restaurant with only pennies. Step 1. Accept that you will not live once this plan is enacted. Step 2. Collect the bill from an infectious disease laboratory experiment, where they see how long diseases last when transmitted by money, this is a real thing. Collect carefully once you're sure it's got some lethal nastiness all over it. Step 3. While the bill is being infected, practice the key move on yourself, using your own wrists. Once you've got it, look for chances to retrieve the bill. Step 4. Approach one of the following people, Angela Merkel, Boris Johnson, or whoever the president of Ukraine is by that point. Step 5. While shaking their hand, give them a wrist slash paper cut using the infected $10 bill, then state I do this for America, in flawless Muscovite Russian. Anytime you must state why you did what you did, repeat the sentence. Edit, who op, silver, my first ever edit bling, and it's this. Thanks, kind stranger. Pay some kids to smash as many windows as possible. Give it to your best friend, and ask him to test if your girlfriend would cheat on you. They are still together. Tell my friend's husband's ex-in-laws about their wonderful son doing porn, and ask about how their daughter, husband's ex-wife, could forget about signing divorce papers, cause you can't get married in our province legally, if you're still married to someone else, I was the MOH, I was at the wedding, if he was still married, the certificate would have never come, and they would have been sent. A notice stating, that the marriage could not be finalized. The $10 is for me to get some Timmy's. Bag of nails. And slowly dump them on the freeway. Pay 10 people a dollar each to go on r slash smash bris and just reply to random comments with stuff, like I think I'm better at the game than you, and watch the meltdowns begin. Easy. Buy a bucket for a dollar at Dollar Tree then buy all the glitter possible, fill the bucket with glitter. You wait until some owns asleep, then you slowly start pouring the glitter all over them. They wake up to glitter everywhere. Get $10 worth of crack, go to the nearest crack house and offer all of it to the addict that can go wreck as much shit as possible in 2 hours. Coins in airplane engines. Buy $10 worth of diesel and dump it in the next ground water source. A few drops can ruin 1000 L water. Roll the note up really tight and then poke someone's eyes out with it. Buy a universal screwdriver kit with all the fancy heads, and then undo slash loosen as many exposed screws as you can find in public. Benches, door hinges, 
safety mechanisms, etc. Don't need all $10, take a box of matches into the woods in California. Bike lock, booseness, put bike lock on front door of booseness. Spend it on cheap glue, glitter and paint and run around your house splashing it everywhere like a mad lad. Exchange it for 200, 5c coins and throw them off a skyscraper. Step 1. Buy $10 worth of glitter step 2. Step 3. Profit. Pay for a dig gold and reward all the sociopaths in the thread. 1. Buy a dead fish. 2. Put fish in vent bar from sight. 3. Wait. Buy epoxy. Seal doors shut in Home Depot parking lot. I'm thinking glitter. That stuff is nasty and cheap. Buy some matches and start lighting shit on fire. $7 slingshot and $3 of nuts and bolts from a pawn shop slash craigslist. Stand at the fence line of an airport and start blasting fod. You all are helping a broke terrorist with your dumb fuck ideas. I don't even have to have $10. I can destroy the entire customer and billing database of a huge company because someone got lazy and created a job with admin rights that will run literally any SQL you put in it. Sure, there is a backup, but it would shut the company down for at least two days while it gets all sorted. If I really wanted to F it up I could change all the customer balances to $0 or $1 million or random numbers, or change all the mailing addresses to your mom's house. And, I could probably run it from anywhere with the admin login, so it would be untraceable. Except for this post and the fact that only 4 people know about it, and of the 4 only 2 are capable of writing the SQL and only 1 has enough experience to know what to hit. To yourself, 2 liters of really cheap vodka. That stuff's like paint stripper. To others? I don't know, you could get a decent kitchen knife, I guess. Set it on fire in someone's house. I'm sure you can buy a package of toothpicks with that much. Change it down to 1c coins. Find a high building. Throw. I know the most damage I've seen done by one person with $8 plus tax was back when insurance riders cost $8 and a young man rented a brand new convertible Mustang at Enterprise, I think it was, drove off and wrapped it around a freeway divider. He was unhurt, the car was totaled and the rental place gave him another one 20 minutes later. A box of condoms, to cheat on someone with. Buy a set of dice. Take up TTRPGS. Roll damage for years to come. Purchase a family super size CWN of Idaho brand instant mashed potatoes. Go to toilet and add the potatoes until the water starts to thicken. It's tricky because too much will cause it to fail, and too little and it won't be flushable. Flush the toilet 10 to 12 times. Repeat process and flush 8 times. Rewap process and flush 5 times. Do this until the can is empty, with fewer flushes between each. From what I understand, they got two router trucks, and then a plumber over to that place. It would unclog then stop right up again in a couple hours. Eventually they gave up and the commode in that bathroom never was able to be used again. I was also given to know that the reek was enough to gag you after time had passed. And the best part? I had an oil change for a beer once my work was done. Guy who lived there was ballistic. All I had to say to him was baked boiled or mashed asshole priceless and pretty nice bang for under 10 bucks. Try to trade it for something worth 15, and then that for something worth 20, and that for something worth 40. Do that until you have enough to invest. Buy several small businesses, and create a monopoly, but have different companies within your company, so that for some reason it's not a monopoly to the law. Pay people minimum wage with the worst or no health benefits, mandatory overtime with no climate control, a dangerous workplace and stressed people. Pollute the shit out of the air, drinking water, rivers, lakes, oceans. 
use overseas slave labor, pour grease into the sewer and use your enormous wealth to build a nuclear weapon detonated in Jerusalem and use your influence to tell the news to blame both the Palestinians and the Israelis. Start World War fucking 3. Use plastic straws the entire time you are doing all of this. Thanks for watching the Chronicles of Reddit. Like and subscribe for a marvelous life of adventure.